Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today we're going to be making some really yummy Japanese food, tofu agedashi. Now this dish is typically served in a bar when everyone's having drinks and relaxing, so if you're having Japanese night at your house, be sure to make this. And, best part about it, just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. Now the first step I'd like to do is just simply grab our tofu and cut it up into some small pieces. You know, you could cut it to any size you prefer. This is our dish we're going to be working on together. So if you prefer it larger, smaller, your preference. You know, we're having fun here, so cut it to whatever you like. I'm just going to cut this to a nice, medium, small size. See? Just like that. Easy peasy. Now that that's all taken care of, let's start making our super simple agadashi broth. Now this stuff is amazingly easy to make, and it's so simple, and it's so delicious. So we have right here six parts of dashi one part mirin, and one part light soy sauce. That's it. Doesn't get any easier. So now what we're going to also do is rehydrate some wakame. We're going to add this into our broth, add a little more texture and you know a little more flavor. Just put a little bit of water on top of it, mix it up, and let it set in there for about four or five minutes. Watch how much this rehydrates. It's amazing. And this stuff is so healthy for your body. And once it's rehydrated, about five minutes, just spoon it out. Now that's the beautiful thing about Japanese cuisine. If you're going to eat something fried, they give you something healthy to go with it. And speaking of fried, let's start flouring our tofu. Alright, so what we're using here is going to be cornstarch. Uh, you could also use potato starch, whichever one you prefer. And um, it also depends on your diet, to tell you the truth. Like, if you don't want to have the cornstarch, then go for the potato. If you don't want the potato, go for the corn. Whichever you prefer. I actually, you know, I'm not going to lie. I just had cornstarch down below in my pantry, so that's why we're using this today. <laughs> so just simply evenly coat it all up together. You know, make sure that it's all evenly distributed because this is going to create a really nice crunch on the outside. And when this gets fried up, it's going to be nice and golden. And the inside, this medium tofu, it's going to be nice and soft. It's, it's going to be really delicious, guys. I'm excited for all of us to have this. All right. So, now back to the broth. Just put it over a medium high heat, bring it up to a gentle simmer, and add that wakame into it. There you go, add a little bit more. And this is just going to add a little bit more flavor, some more texture, and you see how it's coming up on the sides? You don't want to boil your dashi, okay? It's just sort of one of those cardinal rules with dashi. Don't boil it. When it gets up nice and hot, you're good. Now, with our oil about 170 degrees Celsius to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, add our tofu in. Be very, very careful at this point, guys. Please, I don't want to hear anybody that they got burnt, okay? So just toss your tofu in, placing it away from you. Make sure not to overcrowd your pan too much because what's going to happen, you're going to lower the temperature of the oil if you put way too much tofu in. So what we need to do now is just allow this tofu to fry for about a minute or two, maybe a little bit longer, really depending on how much tofu you added into this pan and how much it dropped. A good way to tell when it's ready is that you're going to get this really nice, beautiful, golden crust on the outside. And that's going to have a really nice crunch when you bite into it. And the inside, like I said before, it's going to be really nice and milky and creamy. Wow, it just makes me want to dive into this right now. So make sure we put the tofu on a little blotted uh, towel right here. Just to absorb any additional oil. We don't need to eat that. It's not going to be too healthy. There we are. And look at the beauty of that color. All right, let's plate up. So start dishing up some of the agadashi broth with the wakame in it. A little bit more. That wakame is going to add so much more flavor to the dish. It's wonderful. And just start placing our tofu a little bit here, a little bit there. Guys, mind you, we can play it however we want. You know, this is our dish. Let's have fun. Let's do it together. And let's start building it up a little bit more. Guys, are looking like building blocks, huh? <laughs> and sprinkle with some sesame seeds, some black and some white ones. Nice. And of course, why not some of the Shea Bonito Flex? More of those, yeah, it's wonderful. Adds a really nice flavor to it. Well, folks, there you have it. I'm really, really excited to share with you my tofu agadashi dish. Just ready for you to make it on your next Japanese dinner night. And of course, as always, here's a recipe as following. And I'm super excited to hear if you have any feedback. Tell me if you did anything different. I want to know how it turned out. Thanks for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe.